I've done a couple things since the last video. I had to drop the subframe and the fuel tank, and I uh, actually had a bunch of that stuff filmed, but for some reason the microphone on the GoPro did not pick it all up, so it was just a silent video. And uh, yeah, I was gonna just throw music on it and you know do a time lapse, but that that just wouldn't make any sense because I was kind of doing a tutorial on how to drop it. Anyways, it's like the easiest thing ever. But uh, so what I did do is hopefully you guys can see this. I got my lines ran. And I got my fuel filter. I only got one line ran to the front. Uh, this other line here, 8 a.m., is gonna go to the uh, inlet here on this filter, and. Uh, then that one, it's going to, I'm waiting for the other, I'm waiting for another 10 foot of line in the mail. Hopefully I get it today, that'd be nice. What I want to do today, since uh, I got this all finished, and this took me way longer than it was supposed to have taken me. Um, got the car back on the ground. I'm going to turn the heater on for a little bit, so I get, some, so I get warm, you know. And uh, then I'm going to push the car back, get the uh, engine off the stand, put the clutch on, put the transmission on, and then put it in the car. And because we're supposed to get like seven or eight inches of snow tonight and I uh, just don't want to deal with more snow So if I want to work on the car, I want to have it in the garage and completely ready, but uh, I can't really do much With uh, the door closed so I have to open the door to get the and basically get my tires Against the curb right out here that way. I have enough room to actually put the engine in so That is the plan piece of shit needs new batteries because it dies so fast <laughs> okay so um i stopped filming right there after the you uh, saw me put the clutch in and uh well i was gonna start filming again until a crazy emergency happened and uh yeah my engine decided to tip on this on the hoist and uh, i got pinned between the hoist and my stand and the engine fell and it destroyed my bumper and my light but it's in the car now, and I had to get saved by a couple of my friends. Freshly tossed Jay-Z parts. We always use, well, I guess it's bottom of the line. It's bottom shelf parts. Just as called this new Jay-Z, fresh off the shelf. He's never gonna let me have it down. I think it's official, so the 1.5 Jay-Z is finished. It's in the car, uh, so. So I've got to wait for my fuel lines to come in. Once my fuel lines get in, I'll basically be able to have the thing running. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. 
we'll do some uh, testing and check everything over and make sure everything works. Somehow the engine didn't get damaged when I fell. But I'm okay, the engine's okay, and we're good to go. Just RKO'd yourself. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this short video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment. Let me know what you think of this thing in the engine bay looking real snazzy, real we're pretty. Make a step by step video after this of what not to do with swapping your engine. <laughs>